flatten ears to ground, curve shoulder into the hollow of bones of earth beneath you. Hey there, I'm Regan. Today, spending one hour with the man himself, Matt Hill. Matt's shared the first two people he'd love to spend an hour with. They were Marcel Proust and Patti Smith. He's about to kick off his third person. Matt, who is that? Jarvis Cocker of Pulp fame and his own fame. And he's the most predictable one on the list. As I said, I didn't go with Paul McCartney, didn't go with Damien Albarn. These are the big influences on my musical style. But Jarvis Cocker, because he represents that Britpop stuff that I was into when I was a teenager, and it's definitely in my music. You can hear it a mile away. But once again, what I like about him is he's sort of a musical encyclopedia. In fact, he's written a book. I'm not going to promote because that's not why I'm here. And it's all about pop music and his ephemeral collecting of pop memorabilia. So, yeah, I think he'd just be an interesting person. He's funny in conversation. I think he's very dry. His perception of things is astute, but he's not so serious about it. I think he's a very natural, easy person to talk to from what I've seen of him. So I would like to talk with him. I almost did, in fact, because he came here on his second solo album. He came and he toured to Australia and I saw him at the Gov. And then he was standing by the stage door for quite some time. A gang of people, were one by one, they were going up and talking to him. And I was very shy and uncertain about that. So I hung around a bit and then I thought, no, I don't want to miss opportunity. So I went and stood at the crowd. And then just as I was almost my turn, he was like, well, got to go, everybody see it and got in the van right away. So I never got to talk to him. But I could see that he was just willing to talk to anyone about anything. So I've, I've chosen people who I think would be good conversationalists, which is the, the thing, right? You're going to spend an hour with them. So how would you spend your one hour with Jarvis? <laughs> a couple of glasses of wine in a, in a scruffy pub. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of wondering if the wine thing's more about you than your people. Yeah, that's nothing to do with the people <laughs> I've chosen. That's just me enforcing my will on people. I just like drinking wine with people in scruffy pubs. I don't know. He might be a meeting for breakfast in a greasy spoon cafe, egg and chips or something. That was very much the thing in like 1995. Or a bookshop over a coffee. He could be over a coffee kind of guy. Or listening to records, actually. He'd be good. Get him to bring his record collection because I'm sure it's extensive. And then just play through stuff and tell me what that means to him, where it came from and why he likes that. And, yeah, that'd be cool. Because I think he would be um, very educational. I find all the music I've discovered, most of the music I've discovered, has been because I've been at someone's house and they played a record and said, this is cool, we wouldn't have heard this. Going back to not being good with technology, I do not engage with Spotify and playlists and trends and things that pop up. I see things on social media and I go, oh, that's interesting, and I'll follow a million things thinking I'll keep an eye on it just in case. I'll keep an eye, see if it pops up. And I, I have discovered a couple of things that way that I wouldn't have otherwise, but the vast majority of things I've found has been because someone said, oh, this is a cool thing. Have you heard this song? And it doesn't all stick, but I think it's it's a bit more personal. It's someone's enjoyed it enough to show me and maybe their enthusiasm for it is infectious and then I get into it as well. Or being in a record shop and hearing things playing, going, what's this? Or I'll look very carefully at what the record cover is being displayed. But yeah, Jarvis Cocker, I feel like he'd be very willing to say, have you heard this? This is a classic Sheffield band. What song have you chosen to go with Jarvis? Outwits to Ipswich, which is off of his first solo record, the Jarvis Cocker record, or also known as Jarvis. Once again, one of my favourite songs of his. But this is a good representation of what I like to do lyrically, what I try to do lyrically. I don't always succeed, but it's not really hidden meaning, but it's got a sort of a deeper political meaning or a deeper social meaning. It's, it's sort of talking about how we've been complacent in our society and how we're being overtaken and then everyone gets really upset about it. It was right in the middle of the war on terror, I think, this song. But he's talking about an ideological invasion and everyone getting annoyed about it and sort of saying, oh, the new cultures are coming in and taking over. But it's it's like, well, we treat the people really badly and we've not been accepting of the world. And what do you think is going to happen? So it's saying, well, you're going to get your comeuppance if you, you keep being so insular. And it's the kind of statement I try to say in my own stuff because there's like a communal madness in Western society that we just keep making these silly mistakes. We don't really recognise the actual causes for all of our woes, which is usually just us and our own behaviour. And so I always try to, when I see things like that, I try to process them by asking questions or pointing them out or whatever. And it's very much what he's doing with this song. So it's a song that inspires me quite a lot to keep writing songs like this. Very clever, I think. Cleverer than me, but what I aspire to. So this next one is 
Auschwitz to Ipswich by Jarvis Cocker. They want our way of life. Well, they can take mine any time they like. Cause God knows I know I ain't living right. I'm wrong. Oh, I know I'm so wrong. So, like the Roman Empire fell away. Let me tell you, we are going the same way. Ah, behold the decline and fall. All hold hands with our backs to the wall. It's the end. Why don't you admit? One single soul was saved I was ordering an Indian takeaway I was spared whilst others went to an early grave And got stoned Time they like.